Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. Today we are reviewing an eraser. Um, here's one that I picked up recently, and this is made by Seed, and they make uh, uh, an eraser called a radar, and uh, generally a plastic eraser. And this one, though, I love the shape of it. Uh, it is long, you know, and thin, and so I thought, hmm, uh, this might be a nice way to erase mistakes. This is a plastic eraser, and you can see here it's wrapped currently, and I should unwrap it because you're probably getting glare. So let me take the cellophane off. Here we go. Much better. Um, radar point. Uh, of course, a lot of this is in Japanese. I cannot read it. Uh, 10 by 10 millimeter there. Um, it is a, there it says, plastic eraser. Made in Japan by seed. So you've got, look at the shape of this. It's like um, kind of like a kind of a cross, as you can maybe t make it out here. That is the shape of the eraser. Isn't that interesting? Um, and it goes, you know, inside the cardboard sleeve, and so you can grip it to erase. I just thought it was unique uh, in terms of something different from the standard block eraser. Um, so we're going to try this on a number of different pencils. So I have put on the paper here some popular Oh, let's just say mm, standard or common pencils that perhaps a lot of people might use. Uh, these were all number two or below, I believe. Core strengths. And um, we're going to try this radar point on these erasers and see how it does. And we'll stop start here on the top so here is with a black wing pearl um, which of course is the balanced core here we've got a black wing 602 should be a little firmer Let's see how it does okay we've got a musgrave bugle number two Uh huh. Semi hex from number two from Generals. Uh, a Musgrave test scoring. Uh huh. A Musgrave Tennessee Red. Uh, a Trirex from Moon. Uh, the Mitsubishi 9800 HB, uh, Kitabashi 9606 HB, uh, Tombow 2558, that was a, a B, so a little bit of a softer core. Um, let's see, we've got a Nataraj 621 Bold. Uh, pen and Gear, number 2 HB. Here's a Dom's Extra Super Dark. So I'm not quite sure. They don't, they don't grade the pencils. Uh, Absolute, Absera Absolute, Stateler Norica, HB number 2. And a Viarco 
echo in an HB. There. Off to the side, what have I got? I've got a Paper Mate Murado, number two. And last but not least, a Dixon Ticonderoga, number two HB. So, there it is. There is the eraser job. What do we think? Hmm. You know, here's the eraser after use. I do like the shape um, of it. But I have to say I'm not so sure as to how it really performed as an eraser. I mean, I think it did okay. But as an example, and as a comparison, here's an eraser I do really like. And this is a also a Japanese eraser. Arc Foam. So as an example, let's come up here to the bugle. Here it was the radar point. And here is the arc foam. Um, well, let's try it with the semi hex. Okay. Um, let's see how a Pentel high polymer does in comparison. Okay, how about a pink pearl? Okay, well I think we see a little bit more lift on some of these. Um, here is a Mars plastic. Uh, an art gum. Let's see, we have a Milan here. Um, here is a Hartmuth natural rubber eraser. Uh, a magic rub. Let's see. Um, a mini softy. Okay. Gee, what else can we try? The Nataraj eraser that comes with most of their pencils about the same. Uh, how about a Mr. Pen? Okay. Well, here's a Faber Castell. Well, all right, I guess, you know, as it, uh, this is a jot from the Dollar Tree um, stick eraser. Well, you can see this one here. Some of the other block erasers did a better job. This one, I would say, did a, f a fair job. I would really give this a, a C.
C plus if I wanted to be generous. Um, but it does not really cleanly take the graphite off. Uh, it does leave a bit of shadowing. You can see the crumbs though. Mm -hmm. They're sort of, they do stay together. Very easy to brush off. So there it is. Okay. The Seed Brand Radar Point Eraser. So it's been a while since I did an eraser review, so thank you for indulging me. Um, and I appreciate you watching. And I look forward to seeing you again soon, right here on Always Analog.